Hello everyone, my name is Chief Landless and I'm bringing you guys some more Halo 4 news and information. This is all coming straight from my trip from PAX in Seattle. In this video, I'm only going to be covering the major news coming from PAX. This includes three brand new weapons, one of them being a grenade and the new button layouts for Halo 4. Here we have the first look at the Prometheans or Forerunners heavy weapon, the Incineration Cannon. As you can see, it is appearing on this player's HUD and he ran towards it via an ordnance drop to pick it up. As you can see, it only has three rounds and it fires what appears to be a, you can have a charge down and it shoots a spiral effect of four missiles. Now, I actually personally saw this weapon in use while I was in line at PAX. I was walking around and it actually appeared on this very map on Haven, playing some Regicide, which is free for all. And I saw this guy pick it up and just blew away the entire team. I, I flagged down one of the 3 for 3 Industries pers uh, personnel working at the booth. And I asked the question, what is this weapon? And how often does it appear on the map? This is the Promethean slash Forerunner Incineration Cannon, which is basically their heavy weapon, like I said before. And they said it's a very rare occurrence that you'll ever see it on the map. Here we have some brand new footage of the binary rifle, which is the Promethean slash Forerunner sniper rifle. Now, this is also another weapon that is very rare on the map via an ordnance drop. So I actually only saw this once as well. Unfortunately, neither of these weapons I actually got to play with because of how rare the occurrence was. And I played close to three hours of this game at PAX Prime. So if that gives you any sort of indication, although this was not three hours straight, might I add. I actually had to wait in line. As you can see, it is still the same. It is not more powerful than any other sniper rifle it is just an equivalent and a different version if you look on the left side of the screen you'll see the pulse grenade which was previously referred to as the promethean emp grenade now unlike the other things stated in the video previously this you can actually select in your loadouts before entering a game so this is one of the standard grenades you can equip to your spartan loadouts along with the gr frag grenade and the plasma grenade the Pulse Grenade is very similar to Halo 3's Shield Drainer, but this time around it is not as powerful. It drains the enemy's shield very, very slowly. But it is something to take into consideration to give you guys the upper hand in the battlefield. Now this Pulse Grenade also EMPs vehicles that do enter it, similar to the Power Drainer and the effect of the Overcharged Plasma Pistol. But one thing to consider, when the Pulse Grenade Orange Sphere collapses, it actually kills anything inside so be warned and do not tread in that sphere for too long that is it for the weapons this time around now let's move on to the way you'll be playing halo 4 and that is with the announced button layouts as well as a look into the brand new button layout fish stick here is the controller scheme for the boxer button layout as well as the famous bumper jumper as well as green thumb And here's the recon button layout, south paw layout, default layout, and the brand new one fish stick which is kind of making fun of Call of Duty players. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison between the default button layout and the fish stick button layout. Now these are very similar but they have key different features as the throw grenade, the look slash zoom, and the melee buttons have rotated around the controller. This is meant to encourage primary Call of Duty players over onto Halo as they both boast a different style of controller layout. Now coming from extensively playing Call of Duty and Halo at the same time, this was very different for me. I tried this out at PAX for my very first game and everything ran smoothly except for I wanted to zoom in and accidentally melee because with the fish stick layout zoom in is left trigger and melee is click on the right thumbstick and the throw grenade is the right bumper. And so I, in my, in my brain I was automatically programmed to think right thumbstick is zoom in and I accidentally just started punching in the air. So maybe with some time I'll get used to that layout, but for me, I'm going to stick with the default layout as what I did later on in the days at PAX, and it just seemed to suit my needs so much more. I'm not too sure if you guys will use this fish stick layout, but I think it's about time they finally, you know, introduce more and more button layouts for us to choose from, as not every gamer is uh, the same. 
Alrighty guys, that is it for me this time around. You guys know what to do. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. I love you guys for doing so. Stay tuned for more Halo 4 news and information coming from my hands-on experience at PAX Prime. Yes, I, like I said before, I had about three hours of experience hands-on playing Halo 4 at PAX Prime. So feel free to ask as many questions as you want in the comment section down below and check out my other videos and videos to come. My name is Chief Landless and I'm signing out. Geronimo!